and welcome back to my channel. It is officially fall season 2020 so I wanted to take the time to show you guys my fall essentials. These are items that I would all personally wear again and again and again and it's really good for like layering especially during the colder months. Okay I don't know if you guys have noticed but I am like so into thrifting lately. I don't know like there's something so thrilling about finding like a unique piece of like vintage clothing that someone else had pre-owned. Whenever you guys ask me like, oh my god, where is this sweater from? Where is this from? Where is that from? I'm always like really proud to say like it's thrifted. I already said this in a previous video, but I honestly think there's something really, really cool and endearing about the piece of clothing that someone else has created memories with in the past and that it tells a story. Am I the only one that feels this way? I can't be the only one. Let me know if you guys feel the same way I do. Given the current climate of, you know, everything that's happening in 2020, my favorite place to thrift shop is definitely online at ThreadUp. I've actually mentioned ThreadUp like again and again and again and again in like a lot of previous videos. But yeah, if you guys are not familiar with ThreadUp, they're the biggest online store with over thousands of new arrivals every single day. So it's kind of like treasure hunting, you know, you never know what you'll find. And their prices are really insane too. Like they're like up to 90% off estimated retail price. I got a bunch of stuff this time. Can you guys see? Like it is so huge. The box is bigger than like my upper torso. <laughs> Yeah, I got some really cool like essential pieces that you guys can all wear during the fall and next fall and maybe hopefully 10 falls afterwards. Thank you so much to Threadup for sponsoring this video. They are offering you guys 30% off your first order when you click on the link in the description box and use my code Karina. So on Threadup, I like to create a size profile for my tops, bottoms, and shoes. So my searches will always contain clothes that I know will fit me. I also like to search by brands or prints. So for example, let's search for trench coats because it's the fall right now and here are all the results with so many different brands that you can see. When you think of fall, you really can't not think of trench coats. It's like the trademark of fall. So from my search on ThreadUp, I managed to get three really, really awesome trench coats. One of the most, most classic colors is this like olive kind of like dark beige color. So here's what it looks like on me. It's super duper classic trench coat that goes with all of your outfits. You can dress it up or you can dress it down. And I think this material is also like water resistant. This is from Gap and the original estimated price was about $130, but I managed to get it on ThreadUp for about $33. And you guys, it's like a really awesome condition too. Like there's like no pills, like nothing ripped. Everything about it is as if it's like brand new. Next, I picked up a black trench coat from ThreadUp. It's from Banana Republic. Just like the first one, if you haven't told me that that it's been thrifted, I would never have guessed because it is just in immaculate condition. The original estimated price for this was about $148. I managed to get it for about $34. And black is just one of those really basic colors that you can rock year round, no matter the season. Next up, I got this marled gray print trench coat. It's also from Banana Republic. The original estimated price was about $190. I got it for 40 bucks and honestly this feels so good like almost like a winter coat it is so thick and soft everything about it it looks so super duper classy it has pockets on two sides and a belt that you can close off at the front or you can tie at the back and this also would go with a lot of your outfits so I'm wearing a skirt here a slightly dressier outfit but it can also work with like jeans or even like sweatpants. I think like even if you're pairing with joggers, it would look super duper trendy and cool. Okay guys, so the next piece of essential clothing item that you need to have this fall is definitely button-up shirts. So here are all the button-up shirts that I suggest you guys have for fall. Of course, you need to have a plain white one for all of your layering purposes. This is kind of like a beige satiny material that is really good for as a base for your work attire or even if you're just going out to like a slightly more like dressier occasion. And I also suggest you guys to have a couple of pattern collared shirts just to switch things up a little bit when you're wearing a tank top or like a t-shirt under. You can throw these over. This one is a striped blue and white Ralph Lauren button-up shirt that I got from ThreadUp. Originally, I think it's estimated price was about $89, but I got it for just 14 bucks. I've been seeing a lot of like online celebrities and personalities rock a lot of these like Ralph Lauren striped shirt looks. Oh, it feels so soft. Oh my God, it feels so like 
premium. I honestly cannot believe I got it for just 14 bucks. With button-up shirts, you know you can dress it up or down. You can do what I'm doing here and just use it as like a bum layer for your sweatshirt that's gonna be over this. Thumbs up if you've seen my fall 2020 fashion trends video. If you've seen that video, then you know that collared shirts are the way to go this fall. What is fall without plaid, right? So I got another plaid collared shirt also from Threadup. This is from Tommy. And originally its estimated retail price was about $89, but I got it for just, I don't know if you guys can believe this, nine bucks, okay? Nine bucks for something like this. It honestly looks barely worn. It's still in great, great condition. It feels so soft and so amazing. And it's just great to throw over any like basics that you're wearing. I did get this in an extra large. So in case you want your items to fit slightly bigger or slightly more oversized on Threadup, you can always just like filter by size. The next essential fall category that I recommend to every one of you guys out there is definitely basic sweaters. Whether you're wearing them on their own during the fall time, under a trench coat, or layering them on top of something else. So for example, you've got your white one. This one I've had for so many years. It's like a soft, stretchy material that goes with a lot of bottoms. In case you guys are interested in anything on my rack here, you guys can check the description box down below and click on the link. Of course, you gotta have a black one as well. Also a soft, ribbed material and it's super stretchy. And then we have an oatmeal colored, oversized sweater. This has gotta be one of my favorite thrift finds. Ever, like in my life. I'm not sure if this is a vintage design by Ralph Lauren, but yeah, I was checking the Ralph Lauren site and they still kind of have this. It retailed for about $120 and I got on for it for $23. So like, honestly, I'm very, very happy with this. If you guys saw my casual fall outfits video, then you know that I featured this one in one of my outfits and like it's oversized too, which means it's perfect to go over your collared shirt or over anything really. If it gets really, really cold, you can even layer up by pairing this underneath this. Okay, I know the last one isn't exactly basic pieces, but because we're speaking of fall 2020, you guys all know that Argyle is one of the hottest, biggest trend right now. It especially pertains to fall. But yeah, this vest is also from Threadups by Tommy, and I think I got it for like $23 or something like that. The next fall essential category also belongs to outerwear section. When the weather's been crazy and like really unpredictable, it's best to have different jackets on hand with you. So first we have this fuzzy thermal flannel. It provides some kind of warmth and you can definitely take it out and wrap it around your waist if it gets too hot during the day. And then we also have an oversized denim jacket. It is so bulky and oversized and such a boyfriend fit that you can literally wear like a t-shirt under or you can wear like a bulky sweater under. It's still going to fit over. And next we have a faux leather jacket for all of you cool chicks out there. You guys saw my 2020 fall fashion trends video, you know that oversized biker jackets or faux leather jackets are very very much in this season so for that reason I went an extra size larger this one I'm wearing a size medium and then we have this like oversized oatmeal blazer jacket kind of thing which I oddly am really really into this season I think it's because like lately I'm really really influenced by like Hailey and Gigi and I find myself really drawn towards oversized blazers and this is how it looks like on me without any belts like you can just casually throw it on it's such a statement piece by itself it keeps you warm it makes you look like you actually know what you're doing you know like fashion wise and if you throw a belt over it suddenly you're like ready for work okay last but not least I feel like this should be kind of like a no-brainer so I I was like debating whether I should talk about it on camera with you guys, but ta-da, it's a hoodie. <laughs> Who would have thought Karina would suggest a hoodie? Highly, highly suggest. I also got this on Threadup for like 20 bucks. Again, I feel like I'm a broken record right now, but I wanted to get the oversized fit, so I went for extra large in this sweater, but it wasn't large enough. Honestly, it's not big enough for me. That's what she said. <laughs> I want it to be extra, extra, extra oversized. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, now that we're done with essentials for our upper bodies, it's time to move downward. So for your legs, these are the three jeans that I would be gravitating towards this entire season. Whatever the reason, you always need a pair of black high-waisted skinny jeans. These ones are super elastic and it's a really good length and it's a true skinny jean without being too constricting on your leg. And then next we also have another dark wash jeans. This one is not a skinny jean at all. It's more like a boyfriend, kind of like wide-legged 
relaxed jeans. This is the one that I'm always wearing in all my videos and you guys are always asking me where it's from and sadly it's sold out on the Skydare right now but I will link a similar pair or you can even try like thread out for similar items if you just search for like straight leg jeans. And the last pair is a pair of Ralph Lauren jeans. These are a medium blue wash I believe and these are not high rise but these are vintage Ralph Lauren jeans. Oh my god. So Ralph Lauren stopped making these so the only place you can get these are like thread up or like any second consignment stores. I think the estimated retail price was about $120 for these jeans but I got it for like $23. Honestly. It's such a steal for like a vintage gem like this. If you're really into a Ralph Lauren just like me, make sure to size up because their sizes really, really run a bit smaller. If you guys are not a big fan of jeans, especially for colder months, and you guys are opting more for like comfier type of lounge bottoms, highly, highly suggest these leggings to you. Oh my god, these Lululemon leggings are the famous Align leggings, and these are so comfortable. I don't know how many times I've preached about quality and the comfort of these leggings when you're wearing them it feels like butter first of all on your skin and they would not feel constricting in any part of your legs um, they are slightly pricier though so I think they are about 90 to $100 depending on where you are and you do have to be careful of them because if you put them in a wash um, they tend to pill really quick so only hand wash for these guys so I love them so much I got them in four different colors um, naturally these colors are also darker colors so they're perfect for fall especially this mauvey pink one you can work out in these like they make your butt look so so good so if you're like me and you'd like to wear your skirts even into the fall and winter and colder months of the year then this next one is for you the first one being a very basic black pleated skirt this skirt is so affordable I think it's only like a couple dollars it has an elastic band and it doesn't feel cheap or anything or you can even pair it with like your basic sweaters for like a slightly dressier look the next skirt is also a flare skirt but it has a pattern on it so this is also from thread up I think I got it for like three dollars cannot believe my eyes. I think it's like definitely like one of the lowest priced items that I ever thrifted. But no to all of you guys out there who want to thrift Banana Republic items, please size down. I don't know what the heck is with their sizing system, but it's definitely like got a mind of its own because it doesn't follow the rest of North America's sizing systems. But anyway, yeah, I'm not complaining because I know this for like three bucks. So gladly take it to my local tailor. Also goes with a lot of your crew necks this season. So if you're not a fan of flared skirts, you know, especially for like windier falls, um, I suggest a fitted skirt for you guys. So fitted skirts don't fly up when there's like a gust of wind. This one is a plaid skirt also from Thread Up. I think it was like $7. Definitely think the silhouette of the fittedness gives it a more like classier look than the flared one. So the last type of skirt that I suggest to you guys is these are just like the regular basic pleated skirts that you can find basically anywhere now but I'll be linking a few of my favorites down in the description box below before you guys say that oh my god I'm gonna freeze in a skirt in the fall and winter time check out my video I have a whole hack on how to wear skirts in the colder times of the year click here if you want to watch it honestly highly suggest it to all of you guys if you just saw my hack you know that a huge part of the hack involved penny hoses tights I'm wearing one of them right now. These ones are from Sheer Text, which are supposed to be like indestructible. Let me know if you guys want me to do like a full review on it. So yeah, here I am clawing it with my nails. For all of you guys who want something that's a little bit more premium, this is one by Wolfer. These are really, really soft. They're not indestructible by any means so you really really need to be careful when wearing these especially since these are like 70 bucks and then for you more adventurous sassy girls out there there are also these pattern tights that i recommend to you guys now let's talk about the gucci tights that i believe every freaking single celebrity and influencer has these are actually not nylons these are more of like a fishnetty material but i do give them props because these are so stretchy and they fit a wider variety of body types. Another pair of pattern tights that I own are the Balenciaga pattern tights. I also style these tights in this video right here. Oh my god, I have such an unfortunate story on these. I think I wore them out like a day after I bought them. They were pretty expensive and they ripped. You would think by paying like a few hundred dollars for a designer item, it would like rip less. So yeah, if you guys want more like inspo on like style tips on how to style these nylons, check out this video here. Okay, moving on to accessories. Another is 
essential that I think everyone should own in the fall time are blanket scarves. Scarves are always in for the colder months and they're versatile. They can be used as a cape, as a blanket, as a shawl. So this one is a really vibrant plaid one to go with all of your monochrome outfits. Here's another blanket scarf that I got from ThreadUp. This is the brand Wilford. So it's one of those like monochrome ones that Again, goes with many, many different outfits. Okay, the last item, can anyone guess it? I have a whole video dedicated to them. These are the OTKs or thigh-high boots or above-knee boots. If you want to see me compare like over 16 pairs of OTKs, then click this video right here. I always recommend to everyone is the Stuart Weissman one, which I believe are like kind of the OGs of OTKs. Without fail, I wear these all the freaking time during the fall and during the winter. Sometimes during the spring too. I know that they're slightly on the pricier side, so for those of you who are on the budget, you guys can go for these ones. These ones are like my second go-tos whenever I'm recommending like budget-friendly OTKs. I'm wearing them here and honestly, they don't slip off or anything. The heel's a lot easier to walk in because it's slightly chunkier and it's slightly shorter. And the material on the inside feels so fuzzy. It's so soft. Okay, just go check out this video if you guys want more detail on these. Thank you guys for watching this fall essentials video just a reminder that i film these every single season so if you haven't hit the subscribe button make sure to subscribe right now also don't forget to use my code karina for 30 percent off your first order on thread up and click the link in the description down below i love you all and i'll see you in the next video bye i'm not coherent at all my brain has left the chat take a shot whenever i say oversized <laughs> Oh my god, that's so hot in here. These are actually not like nylons, eh? These are, oh, I'm so Canadian. Woven much biggerly. <laughs> Welcome to Karina's English class where you will learn nothing. <laughs>